Hi, it's Rob again, and uh, you might be wondering what on earth, what on earth all this is about. Well, <clears throat> I've got a, a little mini project in mind uh, where I'd like to make uh, uh, a lanyard out of this paracord. <clears throat> um, but what's not been uh, clear to me until now is, you know, when you want to seal the end of this stuff. Typically people take a match and uh, it melts and it makes a pretty ugly kind of end and uh, something like this. Um, let's zoom in on this because <coughs> this is half the point. So um, I'm hoping this will stay in focus as we zoom in. Let's uh, see how we're doing. So there you go. I think you'll agree this is a pretty ugly uh, kind of uh, end and um, the idea was to work out <clears throat> if uh, that's the behavior uh, with a match um, makes it all kind of sh shrink up and uh, uh, brittle and everything um, <coughs> is there a better way and uh, I'm no expert in this stuff and uh, really I've got no special knowledge at all um, and I'm happy to learn from anybody who can tell me better. Um, but what I thought was, <coughs> let's find out the temperature at which it melts. So here I've got a bit of a heat shield, a piece of aluminium. Uh, I've got uh, my paracord. <coughs> and I've got a temperature controlled soldering iron. <coughs> now, um, I have to say that I've cheated a little bit. I tried first at 200 degrees centigrade, this is, um, which I can dis display in Fahrenheit, that would be 575 Fahrenheit. Ah, sorry, 200 would be less. <coughs> Currently I've got this set to 300 centigrade. And uh, what I did was, um, took my temperature control iron, which is at 300 centigrade, and um, produced a rather long, slow melt. <coughs> I'll just clean the tip because it's not good. Otherwise, there we go. Um, let's put it back. So what I've done is I've produced a long, slow melt. <coughs> and I don't know if you can see that very well. It's still not perfectly pretty. But it's not the amorphous mass um, that we had last time. So I think I'll try and zoom in and see what you can see. So here we go. <coughs> and as you see, I did it at an angle. And we are able to get quite a nice... 45 degree finish. Okay, it's uh, it's not perfect. We've got some strands sticking out here. There's a bit of uh, melt um, on this rather uh, grotty surface that I had, but nevertheless, uh, come on, ca camera, focus. Um, there we go. I focused. Um, so, I think you'll agree there is uh, a way to get this to melt at a rather nice temperature. And it didn't happen uh, immediately. It uh, took a little bit of time, which showed for me that we're close to the melting point and not, uh, <clears throat> you know, vaporizing it uh, immediately. And so, um, I'm sure I could reduce this. Maybe we can do the experiment, reduce this to uh, uh, 250 and see if it still melts. But certainly it didn't at 200, which surprised me. So, um, uh, here we are zooming out again now. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so for me 300 works, 300 centigrade or 570 uh, Fahrenheit works and I don't particularly feel any uh, need to 
change that. So uh, I think that's my lesson from this little exercise and uh, can go on to the next micro project.